Welcome to YouTube Needings Now back with another video. Today I'm going to be discussing my Tubular Dooms, the consortium collab with Ronnie Fogg and Adidas. Did I say Adidas? I meant Adidas. Excuse me. So these Tubular Dooms were built to endure the frigid New York City weather in the winter. They're built to keep you warm, which makes a lot of sense. You know, now that I look at them, it's totally like a fall winter shoe. These are pretty high on the Ronnie Fi collab list. You know, there's been some that I really love, like there's been the Sakuras. Those are pretty dope. I only got the mids of those. Still looking for the pink pair. Hit me up. And I think this is sort of when people who didn't know about Ronnie Feig sort of started to come around because these, once these started circulating and the movement that there was behind the tubular doom at the time, that's kind of fallen apart. But the, the movement at the time was crazy and these by far were the most beautiful tubular doom <laughs> that will ever see production. I don't know if there's a bigger gap out there that you could find between the general release of a silhouette and the collab that Ronnie did. Like, the general release ones, now when I look at pictures, they look like trash. And these are gorgeous, they're still gorgeous. I don't know if it's the just us on the back or the quality of the materials, but when you have these in hand, they're incredible, man. They're super incredible. Top three in my Ronnie collection. The City Never Sleeps, I have the City Never Sleeps New Balance. Those are sick. Those are incredibly gorgeous and you know, these are probably next. I want those mid ultra boosts so bad, but the resale is just crazy. I think I saw the last sale was like six bills. As <sighs> City Never Sleeps, I have these Just Us tubulars I have. And I think the third one would probably have to be the Deodora RF 7000s. Just put up a video on those a couple of days ago. Check that out. It's a beautiful leather shoe. There's a bunch of on feet looks in that video. Tell me what you think. So yeah, these are super duper incredible. I can't wait. I'm, I'm excited to wear these to really not look like a fool. I have to wait till it's at least a little bit cold outside. There was a wedding I went to in the in August, I want to say, and it was in, shout out the Moonies, Northern California, and I thought I was the coolest thing since sliced bread, and I wore a camel hair like light brown jacket. I thought I was the hottest thing out there and I literally was. I was the hottest thing in the world. So like there's nothing more embarrassing than literally wearing a winter coat to a summer wedding. I don't think you could do anything more embarrassing. Is there anything more embarrassing? If there's anything more embarrassing, you please let me know. Just type it in the comment section below. Let me know. How have you embarrassed yourself? But that was pretty bad. And it, like so bad that a kid that I didn't even know I think tapped me on the shoulder and like, hey, you a little hot there, bro? And it was, <laughs> it was so bad because you know when it's too hot, you start sweating, right? So I, once I had gone past the point of no return, I, I was screwed. Like if I had taken off my jacket, my back would be, would have been soaked and exposed to the whole world. So like, I just chose to stick with the embarrassment of wearing the warm coat and not the embarrassment of just being a sweat fiend, disgusting, you know, sweat jack-o'-lantern in the middle of summer. Um, I don't know how I started talking about that, but if you enjoyed that, let me know. You want to hear some more stories about how I've embarrassed myself at a wedding, you let me know. I've got my Instagram link below. Please check it out. I work really hard on it. Pretty please. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Um, I'm working hard on these videos. I'm trying to get them out. <laughs> subscribe, man. I got some good content coming. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. And I learned a long time ago, man. Nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. So I'll see you out there, bro. Just us.